Доброе утро. Рад нас международной конференции, а мне просили, чтобы я выступил на английском. Dear colleagues, good morning. My name is Krzysztof Rybinski. And uh, I worked as a software engineer in Japan. Uh, I'm an economist by education. I was chief economist for many banks in Central Europe. I worked as a part of Ernst Young, vice governor of the Central Bank in Poland, uh, and the rector of universities in countries. So you may ask yourself the question, now I'm at the back of Narfosa University, which Narfos is famous for uh, management, economics, and finance education. So you may ask yourself the question, what is a person who has nothing to do with art doing delivering opening speech at the art conference? Now to help you answer this question, I ask you another one. Please, those of you who think that art and culture education should be part of any academic program for any specialization. Я тоже скажу на русском, может, те из вас, которые думают, что искусство должно быть частью любой программы, по любой специальности, пожалуйста, поднимите его. And those who think it shouldn't be the case, now please raise your hand. No one. That's your answer. I think universities has a big role to play in achieving the goals of this conference is all about. But let me share with you first a little personal story. Uh, I have a son who is 19 years old. And he's uh, he's the son of the economist. My wife is also an economist. It happens sometimes. And uh, he is a recognized artist in Poland. What he does, he paints walls. We call it street art. And we have debated with my wife. What is it? Street art. Get a real education, get a real job, become a lawyer, become an economist, finance. He just went to the university and the specialization that he chose is called School of Ideas. The whole point of this specialization is level of creativity among young people. How he's getting, and he's making good money. He, he, he paints, he does street art for money. Uh, uh, you can see his works in Poland, Czech Republic, Greece, Indonesia, and yes, also here in Kazakhstan. He was here doing street art. How he gets his orders? Through Instagram. That's it. Today you are on Instagram, you make money. And you become recognized, you have thousands of followers. So, with this debate with my wife, I'm telling her, I'm so happy he does what he does, because he develops creativity. Uh, and that's what we need for young people in the 21st century. Uh, we used to train narrow specialists, a lawyer, finance guy, economist. Now education in modern societies is different. We, want, we need creative people with broad horizons. And in order to achieve this goal, we have to bring arts and culture as a part of every, every uh, curriculum. I'm so proud to say that on, we, we are offering education, management, finance, but on the first day when the freshmen, the first year students came to our post two days ago, and we had opening day, people could sign up for membership in various clubs, the Club of Performing Arts got 200 new members on the first day. It shows how much students in Kazakhstan, they want to participate in art and culture. And moreover, many jobs will go away with the automation and technology. And I'm not only talking about simple jobs, but also white collar jobs. IBM Watson is a computer who can do a heart disease diagnosis much better than the most experienced doctor, which means that because of automation and technology problems, many jobs will go away. If you want to stay and be successful on the labor market and make a good money, you have to be creative. And arts is a, 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 you know, a way to be creative, stay creative ahead of the park uh, in this area of the cultural progress.
Let me show some figures with you. United States in 2013, arts and culture industries produced sales worth $704 billion. And it was more than 4% of GDP. They employed 4.7 million people, which they earned $350 billion in wages. It's a big business, huge. In the United Kingdom, uh, the Art Council estimated that for every pound invested in arts and culture by the government, there is seven pounds of GDP created. It's a factor of seven to one. That's why governments should think about investing in arts, because it brings enormous revenues. 700% rate of return doesn't rarely happen in any industry. And you know that Kazakhstan has a great potential for development of uh, arts and culture industry. Why? We have 120 nationalities in Kazakhstan. Each nationality has its own history, culture, story to tell to the world. You simply have to learn how to build on this great potential, I would say unique potential, among all the nations of the world that Kazakhstan has. But what's really happening? If you open today's news, you'll find out, which is great news for Kazakhstan, that foreign direct investments in the first seven months of this year rose by 50%. Great growth. But where is it going? More than half of FDI in Kazakhstan goes to Adrav, Adravska Oblast. Why? Oil sector. So we have to think, what should be done so that investments go not into the oil sector, but also to creative industries, which have great potential to be developed in Kazakhstan. And our course is not only uh, speaking about this, we are actually doing it. We believe that for many people who work in arts and culture sector, there is a need to develop skill how to make money, how to use arts in museums, in exhibition centers to make good money, to reinvest, to develop this business. And I'm so pleased to announce that for the first time in Kazakhstan, together with the St. Petersburg Management Institute, we are offering a course on investing in arts. 150 hours and students, participants would learn uh, how to bring investors, how to create professional projects in arts, how to create budgets, uh, how to manage and minimize risk, how to uh, manage uh, contracts, how to use modern marketing tools to uh, develop these, these projects, uh, and how to make money on arts. So uh, those of you who are interested in this information in the, in the, in the package, uh, you are welcome to, to, to join the course for the first time in, uh, in Kazakhstan. We conducted a very professional team from St. Petersburg who has done it in a very successful way. So they show their experience. Let me end with a quote. A very famous person said, Making money is art, working is art, and good business is the best art. Who said that?